A record number of truck drivers refuse to take drug tests as more states legalize marijuana. As more states legalize marijuana, a new federal report shows that the number of positive drug tests among commercial drivers fell last year compared to the year before, dropping from 57,597 in 2022 to 54,464 in 2023. At the same time, however, the number of drivers who refused to be screened at all also increased by 39%. The record high number of refusals come as the transportation, transportation industry faces a nationwide shortage shortage of drivers, which uh, some trade groups have said has only been made worse by drug testing policies that risk flagging drivers even when they're not impaired on the job. The rise in refusal meant that even though there were fewer positive tests overall in 2023, the total number of recorded drug violations among truckers actually rose slightly to 68,229 in 2023 compared to 67,775 a year earlier. In quotes, the overall rise in drug violations in 2023, even though there are fewer positive tests, is attributed to a nearly 40% increase in purported drug test refusals. 9,214 in 2022 versus 12,804 in 2023. The Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, FC, FMCSA, which produced the new report, told the trade publication uh, Transport Topics. In quotes, drug test refusals include employer reported refusals like failing to show up for a random test or leaving a test collection facility after a test has begun but before it's complete, added FMCSA, an arm of the U.S. Department of Transportation. The data came from a year end summary report of the agency's drug and alcohol uh, clearinghouse, which includes reports from a commercial driver's license and commercial learner's permit holders, employers, administrators, medical review officers and substance abuse professionals in 2023 about eight 858,000 uh, drivers were registered, a number that's dropped consistently since 2020. In terms of alcohol tests in 2023, they saw a rise of positives compared to a year earlier, about up 15%. The report shows and positive tests for alcohol have risen each year since 2020. I bet you that's because of the economy. Uh, Don, Dan Murray, senior vice president for the American Transportation uh, Research Institute, told Transport Topics that there could be a variety of possible explanations, both for the dropping numbers of failed tests and the rising numbers of refusals. In quotes, he says, they say it's not worth it to push my luck. If I use, I'm going to get tested. If I get tested, I'm going to lose my job. So it's time to clean up my act, Murray said. Uh, uh, others, he added, are proactively thinking, well, before I get caught, I'm out of here. And among screenings from, from, from drugs, marijuana uh, metabolites were the top positive result, followed by evidence of the use of cocaine, methamphetamine, uh, amphetamine, and various opioids and others. More than one substance can be recorded from a single positive test. And positive tests for marijuana specifically fell from 40,916 in 2022 to 37,657 last year, the report found. And in June of last year, a survey of licensed U.S. truck drivers found that 72.4% supported loosening cannabis laws and testing policies. Another 66.5% said that marijuana should be federally legalized. And this goes on and on and on. And if you want to read the rest of this article, you can read it on our website at www www.highandnine.news.com. But what do you guys think about this? These truckers standing up for their rights and telling them, telling them basically to go piss somewhere else. Go piss up a rope, as Dale would say, because I'm not taking your piss oh. test. I mean, the Teamsters Union, they represent like a lot of these uh, freight workers. I would like to hear, you know, they're, 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 they're talking about teaming up with the UFCW and doing more cannabis uh, protections and stuff like that. I want to hear their stance on this. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if they want to protect... You know, um, we get into the several debates on unions and everything. This is a union issue. You know, if this is going to be affecting like all of these uh, good folks that are a vital part of our American economy, uh, if it's going to be affecting their livelihood, I'd like to hear the Timsters unified stance. Like, what is their stance on truckers and how they should be how they should be regulated as far as drug testing on this? Because mm -hmm. um, our economy is going to suffer because of this because we, we can't get uh we can't get these uh elon musk driven 
you know, uh, the vehicles out there autonomously driving at like any time in the near future. We're mm-hmm. going to need these truckers to be uh, pushing these vehicles. So where is it going to, uh, yeah. what's the tipping point? Yeah. And, and, and I want my, my, my truckers to be, to be happy. You know what I mean? Like if, if, if yeah. cannabis helps them, yeah. I, I'm all for it. I'm not, I'm not buying into the drug driving. They're, cramped, I do. they're cramped up in those cabins all, all damn exactly. day. They're overworked and you know, um, they, they need relief. They need mm-hmm. medical relief. So, um, I yeah. want to hear what the teamsters have to say about this. This is this y'all, this is your people that are suffering mm-hmm. because of these laws. Are y'all going to push back? Or are y'all going to? No, y'all going to say? I don't think they care about them. I'm just saying that argument can be made. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. What do you think, Yaro? I think it's challenging because we still again we talked about the federal illegality on research and we have for a very long time been struggling to come up with standards around the difference between ingestation versus impairment and we still don't have solid science behind it and so i feel i feel some compassion for this these constituents these truckers who are tasked with getting freight across america every day every mm-hmm. night and who need to do it safely and who also uh, have uh, this um, interference with their personal liberties in so much as these broad drug tests are not necessarily taking into consideration what is done on their off time versus what is done during work hours. I think that until we start drug testing Congress, we need to think about who's being tested, why, and whether those tests are fair and being evenly administered. Uh, and so uh, I feel uh, that uh, these refusals to take tests are a symptom of, of a failed policy. And that failed policy is because we don't have science. And because cannabis stays in people's systems for weeks and weeks and weeks, mm-hmm. and because you can't tell whether they did it two hours ago or two weeks ago with some of these tests, uh, I, I do understand why these people are refusing to take the test. I don't think that drug testing people that operate massive uh, mechanical, um, you know, whether it's a, a boat or an airplane or a semi truck, I, I can understand why drug testing exists. And I'm not opposed to that, but to test for cannabis uh, when uh, it, it may have been done during non-working hours and can jeopardize their livelihood and their ability to support their families uh, doesn't feel fair. Yeah, I agree. I, I believe while law enforcement can do some common sense tests to tell if someone is impaired by cannabis if they're a truck driver while driving, that, that, that that's pretty... Look at that. Like, you and Yaro both on the side of the cops today. I mean, I believe in common sense. Cops have common sense? Mm, common sense was so common. Dot, dot, some dot. do, yeah. Some do, yeah. Some really good ones yeah. do, and some even moderate ones do. Yes, common yep. sense is is not as uncommon as people think. And uh, actually, look, we is. have to balance public safety versus personal liberties. And uh, what are you making that expression for, Rico? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet, I bet. 